Um, this is all solar powered. So those lights are solar powered, that air conditioner is solar powered. What's going on guys? So yesterday I had the opportunity to take y'all along with me to see my buddy's little farm um, slash homesteading place that he's fixing up and getting ready. He's got a little farm already set up. Got some animals and a little, little bit of livestock there. It's not much, but they got a place to go down there and hang out with their animals and get in from the cool. It's actually a little solar shed. It's off the grid. So I think it's actually really cool that he's got this set up, getting ready for bigger plans, bigger project, getting ready to build a house up there. And I think he's going to take you guys along with it, that. So if you want to, go ahead and follow him. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can follow. Be mindful that yesterday was the 4th of July here in Tennessee, and it was actually extremely hot. Um, like the hottest day of the year so far. It was like 95, 96 degrees with a heat index of 108, and the humidity level was like 187%. So anyways, guys, we're going to get into that video. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. Find the link in the description for my buddy's videos and a code TADDY50 to get $50 off all his signature solar stuff. So guys, check that out. We'll see you in the video. Sorry, go ahead. Say this is my friend Tad. So this is my friend Tad. And uh, I wanna know what kind of, about your uh, solar shed here. Yeah, so, so this is my little homestead I'm setting up. Someday I'll have a little house over there. But I wanted to have solar power so that I was energy independent and you know I could live off grid. And if the lights go off at my house, well, they can't be shut off here. So, got with Signature Solar, and that's where I get all my solar panels, solar kits, bundles, and air conditioners. And you can actually get a discount. You can use discount code TADDY50 and get $50 off if you guys want solar panels. Uh, these are 395 watt panels on eco-worthy mounting brackets, and there's two each on a mounting bracket. You can actually put more panels on if you've got smaller panels, because, you know, smaller panels, 100 watt, you got smaller dimensions. This right here is Eco-Worthy Dual Access Solar Tracker. And I've got a few videos on my YouTube channel, Taddy Digest, where you can learn how to assemble the panels on the Dual Access Tracker, program the controller, or actually install that tracker system. And all this right here, it goes into a charge controller inside my shed. I'll show you, come on. Yeah, let's see that. And then the charge controller goes into an EG4 400 amp hour battery. Let me turn the lights on. This is all solar powered. So those lights are solar powered, that air conditioner is solar powered. This right here is where the panels come into the PV uh, isolator or disconnect, and then it goes into a charge controller. And then from the charge controller, we go into a distributor so that everything can interconnect and it can actually be neat. And then it goes into an EG4 400 amp hour battery. And this right here is an awesome rack, rack mount type battery. So you can stack them. And you can see right now we got about five amps coming in. 13 volts for the battery and it's charged 79%. So the state of charge is pretty high. Uh, then I've got a Servo GX and this right here is a monitoring system so I can actually monitor what my charge controller and my battery and inverter is doing. So this is something really nice. You can actually connect the VE direct cables to the charge controller. So that's pretty cool. This right here was about three grand. Outside those panels, charge controller, mounting brackets was about $2,000. So all together to have solar for my solar shed was about $5,000. So if you want a really nice backup solar system for your shed, maybe you've got a little homestead area and you want to have a, a place for storing your food for your animals and making sure that all your electronics don't get hot, then you can actually get a setup from Signature Solar. Signature Solar will actually help you design your solar system for free. So that's something really nice, plus they have the retail. This right here is a EG4 Electronics Hybrid Mini Split. What I mean by hybrid is it works off AC or DC power. So we can use the DC PV power from the panels directly powered into that mini split on the outdoor unit through MC4 connectors, or we can use AC power. And I've actually got a breaker box here because my inverter is running straight into my breaker box and I've got a single pole 15 amp breaker that powers that mini split whenever the sun is not available. So that means we won't have any DC current going to the actual, or DC voltage going into the machine. And when we don't, 
then my inverter starts ramping up and it takes over. So one of my favorite things is is the unit. The unit is so quiet and it is yeah. And the price point is unbelievable. Yeah, it's twelve hundred bucks. You can get a twelve thousand BTU, which will do upwards of five hundred square foot, depending on the insulation and your you know geog where you're at geologically. So you can get this from Signature Solar, twelve hundred bucks, and then you can get panels, and they sell a kit, so you can get the mini split and the panels for two thousand dollars. So then you can have those panels wired directly into the mini split. So like I said earlier, it's probably one of the hottest days of the year. It's like ninety five degrees right now. Yeah, it's probably yeah, hotter than like that. Yeah, and what do you got this set to? Uh, I got this only on like seventy three. So. so. It's actually running that set, keeping us at 73, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And it's, I'm foam insulated here. I use Sprayman spray foam insulation. It's a closed cell type foam insulation. And I use it for all my DIY projects. You can actually go check out my YouTube channel. And I've got a video on how to insulate a shed. They sell a kit that's scalable, so it's really nice. You don't have to have a, a foam kit that's huge. And you're wasting half of it. And you actually have these cans connect them to a spray gun, which is reusable. So... Yeah. Really nice, man. How easy is it for somebody to go in and set up this unit? To install the unit, which I've got a full tutorial step-by-step -step guide, you can actually check it out on my YouTube channel. Maybe he'll leave a link for you guys so you can go check that out. But for me, it took me three hours to install this. So it's not a very, very extensive install, but I am a professional, so I don't know. Somebody DIY, it may take you six hours. But you can do it in one day, so it's not going to take a, a full day. Yeah, so yeah. Where, where can they find you again? They can find me at Taddy Digest. That's my YouTube channel. And you can go to Signature Solar and you can use a discount code Taddy50 to get $50 off of your order. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, go check out my channel if you want to learn more about HVAC. Man, thanks, Tad. Yeah, for sure. This if is... you want to check out the outdoor unit, we can. So this right here is the outdoor unit. And you can see that we've got PV wires coming into MC4 connectors. And then you can see that I've got an AC power coming into the unit as well so I got two forms of power what's awesome about this is it'll automatically switch over at night so most would think that when nighttime comes and there's no Sun and there's no PV power that I got to come over here and do something well you don't have to do anything because EG4 electronics has manufactured an inverter board with a ATS so an automatic transfer switch already built in that's where all your switches in there all my switches are inside the outdoor unit and then we've got three 395 watt panels that are directly connected to that outdoor unit. So you need a minimum of 800 watts for that unit, that particular model. Uh, and they make 9,000 BTU, they make a 12,000, they make a 24,000. The 9,000 is the only unit that is not hybrid, but the 12 and the 24 are hybrid, so AC, DC. If you need a 12, you can heat and cool up to around 500 square foot. If you need a two ton, you can heat and cool up to 1,000, 1,200 square foot. So what will those, you, those right there power? Like what, what the, how big of a unit would those power? How big of a unit will these power? Yep. Those will power the 12K. So you, you, know, you're you probably need... gonna double those panels if you wanna power the 24K. So you're gonna gotcha. need at least six panels. Gotcha. Yeah. I appreciate you talking with me yeah, today, man. bud. That's what's up. So if y'all want any kind of off-grid kind of stuff signature solar is definitely oh 100 percent. Yeah. signature solar has a retail store in sulfur springs texas they also have a design center so if you want to call in you have no idea what size system you need they'll help you with free consultation to help you design your system for free then if you want to drive to the retail store in sulfur springs texas you can actually pick up your solar panels they have everything you need your solar powered air conditioner and they are full something yeah, oh, full, service. full service, man. I'm 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 stoked to see what what happens out here full with all something. this, man. Yeah, man. Swing back by. I'm gonna put panels. I'm gonna put panels in those trees. Awesome. Yeah. All the way up the hills. Yeah. Just a solar form right here. Yeah. All right, guys. See. You.